Go. Sour Banane family, we see you, we honor you, and we value you. Your gifts, along with God's grace, allow us to persevere, to mentor, and prepare new leaders as we co-create for future generations. The Proctor Conference is where future meets legacy. We are committed to the forward crusade of faith, equity, and reparatory justice, nationally and globally. We are the place where Ubuntu becomes reality. Your gifts to the Legacy Campaign enables our success, our sustainability, and secures the future. With vision, by faith, and through action, we are the Proctor Conference. I'm so grateful that there is in this world something called the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. You've been on the wall doing the work. Sister Iva Carruthers and so many others, you represent the best of our faith. You represent the faith of the black church, the conscience of the American churches. Thank you for the work that you do. Family, the time has come to work the roots. The roots of Sam DeWitt Proctor, Gardner C. Taylor, Pauli Murray, Bayard Rustin, and the list continues. As the mission of the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference continues to shape our ethos and worldview. Join us today by committing an annual, one-time, or recurring gift to the SDPC Legacy Campaign. We pray that you and your loved ones have been and will remain the benefactors of God's grace and mercy. Thank you. Greetings, family. I'm Reverend Dr. Michael Elam, Advisory Council Member of the Murray Rustin Social Justice Institute of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. If you are like me, the current events attacking our community have been weighing heavily on your heart. The health and economic disparities in our communities around COVID-19 and the attack on reproductive rights of recent days not only shows us who has been attacked, but who is also left behind. Our cisgendered female siblings, gay men, and young adults are the highest new cases of HIV and AIDS. We need to turn proclamation into practice. Please take the time necessary to participate in this comprehensive survey so that we can organize, strategize, and neutralize health issues in our beloved community. Thank you for putting the skin in the game and taking action. Good morning, family, and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference service of weekly prayer and song, the Proctor Prayer Demic. We are so thankful that you're with us, whether you're on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet tuning in this morning. We would like to invite you to visit our website, sdpconference.info, and we'd also like you to sign up to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. And you can sign up by texting SDPC to the number 84576. That'll automatically sign you up and we promise your information is safe with us. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to the service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909-318 7011. And again, family, we want to remind you and encourage you to register and be with us in Atlanta for the 2023 Samuel DeWitt Proctor Clergy and Lay Leadership Conference, February 20th through the 24th. Registration is open. You can go to the Proctor Conference Facebook page to learn more or the website sdpconference.info. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Dr. Michael Elam. Thank you, Reverend Webb. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Grand rising. Sabonani, I see you, we see you. We value you. You are important to us. Namaste to divinity in me, salutes to divinity in you. Welcome to the Proctor Paradigmic. We are forever indebted to the founders of, of Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright, the Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III, and, and Dr. Mama Iva Carruthers for their vision, courage, and leadership through all this. 
call to worship is Psalm 145, verses 1 through 7. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. God's greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall extol your works to another and declare your mighty acts. They will recount the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. They will proclaim the might of your awesome deeds and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing aloud of your righteousness. Our returning prayer warrior today is Reverend Dr. Uh, Lester McCorn. He is an uh, ordained elder in the AME Church. He is an alumnus of Morehouse College, Yale Divinity School, and the Ch Chicago Theological Seminary, and is the president of Clinton College. And as usual, and as our recur recurring minister of music, we have Reverend Ozzie Smith, Ozzie Dave, Ozzie Smith. Sorry. Good morning, good morning. Welcome them both um, this morning. Thank you. Amen. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. 
Let us now go to God in prayer. O thou by whom we've come to God, the life, the truth, the way, the path of prayer thyself has trod, Lord, teach us how to pray. To the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Harriet, Frederick, and Sojourner, the God of Booker T. Washington, Mary McLeod Bethune, and Joseph Charles Price, the God of Benjamin Elijah Mays, Mordecai Johnson, and Samuel DeWitt Proctor, the God of our weary years and the God of our silent tears. God, before we ask you for anything, we just want to thank you for everything. Mm -hmm. God, we thank you for the living legacy of historically black colleges and universities and predominantly black institutions. Thank you for what these jewels have meant to our people, our village, our nation, our diaspora, and our world. Founded before emancipation, these institutions have been agents of education, anchors of liberation, and advocates of mobilization for over 160 years. We thank you, God, for the servant leaders, scholars, scientists, and spiritual sages that have led and served these schools down through the years up until our present moment. We bring them before you now as we pray your blessing upon them. Yes. Lincoln and Cheney, Wilberforce and Paul Quinn, Livingstone and Clinton, Morehouse and Spellman, Benedict and Bennett, Clark Atlanta and Morris Brown, Southern and Grambling, Tuskegee and Talladega, Virginia Union and Virginia State, Howard and Hampton, Mississippi Valley State and Rust, Lemoyne Owens and Fisk. Texas Southern and Savannah State, Morgan and Bowie State, and all the host of HBCUs that have educated, equipped, and empowered hundreds of students who have made their mark because you made a way. Even today, we have a senator, Reverend Raphael Warnock, and Vice President Kamala Harris because of HBCUs. As we continue to navigate the precarious, and perilous paths of a pandemic, we ask, O oh God, for your grace and your guidance to carry out our mission of education. As we begin a new academic year, we seek your face and your favor in the face of COVID-19 and COVID-16-19, bomb threats, inflation, and subtraction by division. Help us encircle our schools with love and support and substance and spiritual power. We thank you, God, for our seminaries, ITC and Payne and Hood and the Proctor School at Virginia Union. May these institutions continue to nurture and produce pastors, priests, and prophets who will blow the trumpet in Zion, feed the sheep in lowly pastures, and dismantle the empire in high places. God, we thank you for our HBCUs and predominantly black institutions. May we cherish them even more as we continue to affirm that all black lives matter and HBCUs matter. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord. Hear our prayer, O oh Lord. Incline thine ear unto us and grant us your peace. In the name of our liberating lead, leader and Savior and Lord, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.
my, 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 giving honor to God this morning, thanking him, thanking God for his grace, peace, and mercy, thanking God for telling us, for allowing us to tell our stories, thanking God for a hundred, for all our ancestors who were determined to make a way and build foundations. We didn't seek revenge after the Emancipation Proclamation. We built institutions. We built institutions for our community. So we thank God for all our institutions and all our seminaries for bringing, bringing great work and, break, and great leaders into our communities to build and to prosper. This is the work of the Sammy DeWitt Proctor Conference. Please support the work of the Sammy DeWitt Proctor Conference by donating to our legacy fund via our website, www.sdpcconference.info forward slash legacy dash fund. You can also find us on Giveify. Please search for Sammy DeWitt Proctor Conference. Your donation and investment supports the work for justice and the vision of the Sammy DeWitt Proctor Conference. And we are so grateful to you and to be in community with you. Giving honor to God once again for all of these, all our participants. Thank you, um, uh, Reverend Dr. Um, McCorn. We thank you. And, we, and Reverend Dr. Isaac Smith, we thank you. And we thank you all, the Proctor family, for this great work. Remember to remember that registration is open for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference in 2023. And it's been a long time. It's going to be lit, I'm telling you. And um, we're going to have a good time in fellowship. So go to the website and please register and register early. Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and to make you stand without blemish in the presence of his glory with rejoicing. To the only God, our Savior, through, our Jesus, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time and now and forevermore. Let the church and community say amen. Have a great day. God bless. See you later. See you next week.